A group of South Shore mayors led by Chateguise Natalie Simone are reeling after the Parti Québécois government announced its decision to transfer back 300 hectares of land to Gahnawage. Grand Chief Mike DeLille Jr. responds. Uh, this isn't news, I don't think, to anyone who's been paying attention for the better part of five years now. Uh, this had been negotiated not settled, but agreed upon way back when in 2008 under the Liberal government that uh, the expansion of Highway 30 would require 700 acres of land to be given back, if that's the proper term, which really it isn't, to be transferred to Gunawage is, is the, the better term to use. Um, Madame Simon, the MRC, actually she wasn't there as the mayor then, but uh, the MRC did pass a unanimous resolution in April of 2011 uh, uh, sorry, uh, April of 2012, to the then Liberal provincial government stating that they didn't want this to happen, citing unfair economic advantage, so on and so on. So it's well over a year that this MRC Roussillon, including Madame Simon, the mayor of Chateaugui, knew of the proposed land uh, deal and have voiced their concerns. I'm more disappointed, I think, that they chose to do it on a Friday afternoon without advising. I haven't heard from any of what I consider my colleagues as the other mayors of surrounding municipalities here in the MRC, uh, some of which who consistently have said are friends of ours to uh, give us heads up on these types of things, or professionally, for that matter, for the MRC Resilient to say, by the way, Gunawagi, this is happening in terms of a press conference and so on. And late Friday afternoon just doesn't make sense. Things fall under the wire, so to speak, and yes, we were contacted by external medias, but we're happy today on a Monday morning to give the real story in terms of what's been going on. So this lack of consultation they're citing, uh, this being thrown at them and, and the province dealing with them unfairly. You could ask local m and Pierre Moreau, who used to be a minister way back when, uh, that this, that absolutely is not true. Uh, but it is true that they're not happy. So we've known that from the outset. Um, if people were encroaching, as they believe, onto their territories within their what they consider municipalities, of course they'd be upset, but there are answers that have been given. They had had a meeting with the provincial government, the Parti Québécois government, uh, recently, and the government told them as well, this is happening. We're following through on the commitments that have been made to Ganawage, and we're prepared to talk, but it's not a negotiation, it is an absolute. At least in terms of Chateaugui, there's a municipal election coming up in November, so it makes sense to kind of puff out your chest in terms of something as that can be looked at as, as radical as this in, in terms of land being given to Gunawage uh, for exchange of a highway, so to speak. Kind of ironic, and I think some of the English media has picked that up, that they're crying foul when Indian land is being given back to the Indians versus uh, the way it's been done over the course of history, but that's, that's another issue. So I, I think it's them. But answers have been given, like I said, by provincial government. We've always been open for discussions to help alleviate these concerns, but we've never been approached. Uh, there was a possibility that the 34 acres within Shadagi boundary, as it's known at the end of OCR, could have been reconfigured, redesigned, that would help benefit both parties. They dropped the ball, quite honestly, and we're prepared to move forward, and so is the province. So like I said, I think it's them. It's a little bit more than disappointing. Uh, we've tried to have as much discussion, not only on this issue, but every other that would affect South Shore, Montreal, as they call it. Uh, we are the hub. There's no denying it with all of the infrastructure that's inundated in Gunawage and, and surrounding us. We're in the best possible position. They're crying economic foul that we would have greater benefits. Well, you know what? It's about time. Uh, we've been treated unfairly for 300 years plus. Uh, it's time we get our due, and that's why this deal was made way back when. I wouldn't back on it, uh, and I know Council supported it then, and Council still believes in it now and supports it. So Quebec is moving forward, the commitment is there, we're actually having a conversation with them on the land transfer and the documents that they need to provide to the federal government for additions to reserve, which is how it has to happen, uh, this afternoon. So we're confident it's still going to happen, and unfortunately people will not be happy in terms of some of the mayors and surrounding areas. but. The door is open, economic development is what we're looking for, and if there is a possibility of partnership in the future, again, we're not slamming it shut.